This place is uh, really strange, huh? strange feeling to it. And the water is very green and dirty. Can't hear nothing. Too light. Too huh? quiet. What? Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Fishing Reminder. In this episode, we're going to be exploring another great fishing and camping spot here in the Waikato region. It is another freedom camping site. Basically, part two of our fishing and camping series at the Waikato Hydro Lakes. We are here at Lake Maraitai. Here we found ourselves a really nice freedom campsite here. It is um, not quite as big as our previous one in Fakamaru. And I think you can even pitch a tent here as well. It is a small campsite, so it's quite busy. There are quite a few motorhomes always here. But it's right next to a boat ramp. So really good. We want to launch our boat here tomorrow in the morning and do a bit of exploring of the lake and hopefully catch a trout as well. This is a very deep lake here, Lake Maraktai. But on the other side of the lake, there are lots of little headlands and bays to explore. And hopefully we can catch a trout at this end. This fishing and camping spot here is right next to a really nice little township called Mangakino. And I've never been here before, first time. And it's actually a really cool little white town. They got like basic facilities you need, like a four square, you know, little cafes and bakeries and things like that. Just a short walk basically from the Freedom Campsite or a short drive. That also makes this camp here quite nice to have just all these facilities close by. There's also another Freedom campsite, a much larger area, a little bit further down the gravel road. Went down for a little walk to check out the other Freedom camping area. It's called mm, Duck Island, I think, or well, just a few hundred meters down the gravel road. And surprisingly, no one is here. And you got water access straight there. You know, you don't have a boat ramp, no people coming in and out. Yeah, I really don't know why not more people choose to stay here, including us. We didn't stay here either. Another cool thing about this Freedom Campsite is there's a, a bus here, it's called the Bus Stop Cafe. Uh, you can get some decent food here. We bought a Pizza Hawaii there the other day, it was quite nice and it's a really nice friendly old house bus converted into a cafe, quite like it. Hopefully that will be us tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and follow us along. You know, fishing and camping is what we do. We love exploring those new fishing and camping spots, especially the low budget ones. We don't like to spend a lot of money for camping. How cheaper can it be than freedom camping? And I really must say that the Waikato District Council has done a really good job providing all these awesome freedom campsites here. You know, not many places where you can find something like this. Another floating rot, rock, <laughs> I think those are called pumice, I'm not so sure. I think this is what I used ground up in my garden to, um, you know, fluff up the earth a little bit, make it more breathable. I think it's called pumice, but I'm not so sure. Let me know in the comments if you know. Check this out. So this is a dead rot and someone cut off its head which is good because you have to kill the rat here because they're an invasive species and they just destroy the lake environment. In Europe, uh, they're not sought after sport fish or anything, but uh, here some people actually target them, uh, especially the bigger ones in England. Here they're more of a pest, of course. Can't eat them, they're full of bones. Interestingly, on the last campsite, I caught this one here with my fly rod on a dry fly. I thought there was some trout rising in the evening, but it turned out to be rot. What do we eat, Haitian? What's that? My favorite! Those are Haitian's favorite Korean noodles. You should try them, guys, if you haven't. Great camping food. Well, we decided to get up early this morning for the best chance of catching a trout. And uh, you guessed it, it's going to be raining again in the afternoon. It's already started drizzling. Well, after we had a really nice evening last night, this morning is a little bit uncomfortable. 
and the forecast is rain and lots of wind so we don't have much time fingers crossed has a good condition to catch trout in shitty weather so we're just at the start just left the boat ramp why not try some trolling already eh? hey Got the black and gold Toby that we're gonna be trawling now a little bit along the lake edge while the engine is warming up. Because of the reeds we cannot troll it really look. There we go over to the other side and try there. Might be a deeper edge there. Alright we went to the other side of the lake now and uh, there are some nice little side arms and structure. Looks pretty cool here. Really nice. Well, it looks really nice here on this side, but the water, yeah, like we can say, very green and lots of algae. Shit green. Can't say that on YouTube. Well, there's a really nice big brown trout sitting here. Just hooked him on the spinner. Didn't get hooked, and he's just coming up all the time and feeding here like a crocodile. Asian now frantically trying to catch him. If he takes the black toby once and spits it out again, he's probably not going to take it again. So I'm going to try uh, the good old Rapala a few times. See if we can catch this guy. It looked like a really good trout. Well, this trout over there made our life hard. Took our lures twice and didn't get hooked. And I think it was the same trout. But now we couldn't find another trout. So we're going to head down the channel a little bit further. And try there. Maybe they're sitting further away from the main All right. Oh. I got one. Patience got one. Finally. Oh, uh, in the rock. Oh, a, a, a rainbow. Nice one. Oh, yeah. I don't want to lose it. Why don't you fight? It doesn't fight much, huh? Mm. I think they'll fight now. Make sure you. <laughs> Don't have, don't keep that so close to the boat. I don't want to lose you, you know? Okay, we're not going to lose him. Can't move him slowly to the net. Slowly to the net. A good size to keep. I think we're going to try this one. Eat. Hmm. Oh, so. You got a fish, not that big. Hope that tastes okay. Not so muddy, eh? That's not the wrapper, huh? that's like a, a lure we bought many years ago in Korea in 2019. <laughs> It's a rapper uh, kind of knockoff, but it works better than a rapper, especially with name? this color profile. This is our fish for dinner today. Haitian caught that, a rainbow trout, and hopefully the smaller size will taste uh, not muddy. <laughs> this place it is strange aura. I don't know what kind of place is this. The water quality. I'm not sure. Like a little bit of a haunted place. Now, what is this thing here? Some pipes. What do you think, Asian? Is that is? I'm not sure. Might be worthwhile checking out later. No, usually you always see the fish from the bridge and like man-made structure. Like this pipe here, for example. So we're gonna cast here now. We were just about to go back, and oops! Oh, he lost it. Just hooked into another one on the black. It's pretty hard fishing. It takes a long time to catch something, and Haitian got the second one. Oh my gosh. <sighs> After casting thousand times, the Korean is pissed off. Now the fish uh, that I just prepared here took the head off. I was gonna fry it whole in a pan, but the meat isn't really that red or orange, so don't expect it to taste super good. But we'll see. Unfortunately, you never really know when you catch a trout what the meat's gonna look like un until you kill it and cut it open. You know. Uh, we're gonna head back to camp now. We got one trout. 
the mission was just to catch one trout in each leg so we got one trout already and lost the second one and we gotta put get that into the fridge as quick as possible so it stays nice and cold and Haitian will have a little break I Haitian <laughs> yeah I have to do my business have to have a little break I <laughs> and a little bit of a break something feels missing so I dropped something off Haitian break. with the fish by the boat ramp. Well, I made my way out towards the dam there. I see the dam in the distance. So I might just try some uh, deep water jigging here in this area. I'll see how we go with that. Maybe about 20 meters here. Now the weather turned to cast off. I think I have to head back now. Yeah. Rain. New Zealand rain. Well, good morning. It's the next day and it's the last mission here on um, Lake Maratai before we head off to our next destination. And I decided to come out a little bit further upstream to the mouth of the Mangakino River. I was hoping maybe I can catch a trout here as well. This is a pretty cool location and the further you go up um, to the next dam, the more remote this whole area becomes. The deep gorges of the Waikato River. This little Mangakino stream here Something behind me is supposedly a good right. place to catch some trout as well. You know, trout, they like to hang around stream and river mouth. And this is kind of the junction between the Waikato and the Mangakino uh, River. Well, I went up this river, the Mangakino stream, for a couple of kilometers. Man, it's stunning here. What a beautiful uh, scenery. What a beautiful gorge this is. Highly re recommend coming up here. Even though I haven't caught a trout yet, trolling, it is just stunningly beautiful. Some morning mist. You go through some hanging bridges, black swans flying around, you know, little, I suppose, rut rising on the surface, bird song. Uh, it's just really, really serene out here. Even if I don't catch anything, just being out here in the morning has been a really nice experience already.